Hi, I'm Bob Sizzik. I am formerly the CEO of Cooper Industries. I've been retired now for, oh, go, approaching 15 years. Houston was booming in the 60s and early 70s, and up until close to the 1980s. I had, I had been president of the Houston Grand Opera. I was finishing up with the Houston Grand Opera when we had the big oil crunch. And it was just about that time <laughs> that we had this grandiose idea of raising $70 million, $75 million in the community without any government help whatsoever. It was a dream, a, believe me, a real dream. If I knew what I was getting into, I wouldn't have done it. People who were, I would call the senior board members of the Houston Ballet and Houston Grand Opera, were involved in early conversations and the planning about having a new theater that would be the primary home for the ballet and the opera. And so I was on the Wortham Theater board by virtue of being president of the uh, HGO. And uh, then in the summer of 1984, I decided I would just go to work uh, instead of being just a volunteer and uh, had the opportunity to become executive director of the Wortham Theatre Foundation uh, just about the time that we broke ground for the theatre in August of 1984. People did believe in the project and they believed that Houston as a world-class city really should have more than one performance hall. There was certainly a period of time in mid to late 85 Early 86, we began to really see the effects of the real estate and the savings and loan and the oil price change for Houston and for Texas. We began to wonder, could we actually raise the whole amount necessary in order to complete everything that had been designed? The actual fundraising part of this took over seven years to get done. The people who started this thing who were very important, they were well-meaning, but not particularly accustomed to organizational structure. We needed a business-like structure. I'm afraid that's where I came into the picture, and that's what we did. Rather than just have three or four volunteers that were kind of ahead of the organization, we built a very formal uh, organization. We rented offices. We put in a computer system. There was an awful lot of pro bono work that uh, people contributed to this project. I believe it was the largest privately funded project in Houston, certainly related to the arts. And so I think the, the idea was compelling and it was an opportunity for people to support the arts in a way they never had been asked to do in Houston. And, uh, and people responded to that. Since it's now 22 years after our opening of the theater, it amazes me how often people come up to me still and want to talk about the Wortham and how it was done. The, the project of building this $70 million a facility in the middle of a recession received national recognition. It suddenly was looked at, hey, those folks have something down there. They have a spirit. There was a lot of creative fundraising ideas that came up, a lot of individual effort. Yes, I think it did a lot for the city.